I was born in Scotland on the Isle of Skye. I was educated largely in Birmingham until I went to Edinburgh University where I got a PhD in theology in 1933. I became a minister. Uh, I was actually the national overseer for Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, many people would debate whether that is Christian or not. Uh, but I left that ministry in 1969, purely and simply because I felt that I could no longer continue to preach things that I didn't believe. I would love to tell you that I started straight away on a search for truth, but that would be a, a lie. I did everything that was bad. I went completely the wrong way. I gambled, I drank, I womanized. And so, in 1995, on October the 28th, Praise be to Allah, I embraced Islam. I'd been considering Islam for some years beforehand, uh, and had already made one or two adjustments in my life, my eating habits, I was eating halal for ten years before I embraced Islam. Uh, I was choosing my friends more carefully uh, and it was not until 18 months before I embraced Islam that I gave up drinking and at the same time gave up gambling. My mother, who died only six weeks ago, was the oldest Muslim in Europe. She would have been, had she remained alive three weeks later, she would have been 119 years old. Uh, she embraced Islam two years before she died and uh, was engaged in the work of Dawat until the way she, uh, day she died. Uh, I am very, very happy to be Muslim. I am very proud to be Muslim. And it has most definitely affected my life in many, many ways. But the overwhelming difference that Islam has made in my life is the peace that it's brought into my life and it started the day that I embraced Islam. I had never before set foot inside a mosque and I turned up at the masjid by arrangement with Haji who had made the arrangements at the masjid and I was the first to arrive. I borrowed Sarah Kamis from a friend uh, and felt uh, like a daffodil standing outside the mosque waiting for someone to come and open up. Uh, the th next person to arrive was Haji himself, who took me into the mosque, showed me how to make wuzu. and then told me that he had to go into the office. I didn't realize until that point that he was a member of the mosque committee. He told me he had to go into the office to sort out some mosque business, but I could go into the prayer hall. He said, if anyone comes in, they won't ask any questions, just sit down. Any books that you see around, you're welcome to read any of them. Uh, so I opened the door to the prayer hall, and it was like a wave rushed over me a wave of utter and complete peace. This could partly be explained by the fact that there was no one else there. 
but it was a sensation that I had never experienced before, nor since, but praise be to Allah, that peace has never completely left me. My Iman has been up and down in common with most of my Muslim brothers, but praise be to Allah, I'm still here, and I hope to continue until Judgment Day. What a nice caller. Nice, nice guy. Hello there. This is uh, Richard Burnish. You're live on the Jesus chat line. How are you doing today? Fine, Richard. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Did you have a question? Yeah, actually, I have a few questions. Certainly. Uh, my first question is, is Jesus God or the Son of God? Jesus is God's Son. So he's not, he's not God? He is not God. No, he is not. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit, is he God? The Holy Spirit is God, yes. So there's two gods. There is one God. There is only one God, actually. And that is God, the, the Holy Spirit. So the Father isn't God? Yes. So You're the Father it. isn't God and the Son isn't God? Yes. And the Holy Spirit is God. Yes, you're, you're, you, I, you understand it. Yes. So who, what, what's, who's the Father? God. You just said He isn't God. He is God. No, you just said the Father wasn't God, the Son wasn't God, the Holy <laughs> Spirit was God. <laughs> no, I did not. No, He is. He is. Yeah. He is God. Yes, He is. Yeah. Richard, Richard, listen, I'm, I'm sort of a Bible scholar, if you will, okay? And uh, yes. you, can't you can't play games with me. You are not making any sense right now. Well, that is a matter of opinion. I feel uh, I'm, I'm making a, a lot of sense, sir. Look, I don't, I mean, how can you ask somebody to become a Christian if, I mean, you can't even tell me who God is. God is, is God is God. He's in the yeah, Bible. He's God. No, look, Christians tell me God is one, but at the same time, he's three. God, I, 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 I'm not sure I fully understand your question. You, you, you sound kind of confused. Yeah, I am confused, Richard. I really okay. am confused. Okay, look, and I'm here to help. Because, That's look, why I'm here. Because, okay, look, we have, we have the Father, we have the Son, and we got the Holy Ghost, right? The Holy Trinity, yes. The Trinity. Now, this, this, this you know, all-star team here, the three, do they equal one or does one equal three? 
they all they are they all equal one that a, a trinity is the group of three one group of three okay look when when jesus died jesus died on the cross right yes he did now when he died who was running the show well god has always been running the show since the beginning it's always been god running the show but a bunch of jews killed god on the cross according to you a bunch of jews i don't i don't well um that's 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 okay so but basically basically richard a bunch of jews are stronger than your god i don't agree with that 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 is not that is that that nowhere in the bible does it say that well you you guys you know christians like to preach how jesus was hung and brutally murdered and tortured on a cross by a, a bunch of big-nosed jews he was he died for your sins he died for my sins yes he did did he die for those jews sins that killed him yes he did so those jews that killed him essentially are going to heaven those jews are yes oh so everybody's going to heaven no 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 they're not but i thought jesus died for my sins he did yes he did but if you live your life according to his teachings you will also go to heaven but does jesus love everybody no he doesn't he doesn't no wow that's actually pretty brave of you to say that yeah it really and that's and just think of how lucky you are to have the bible to 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 as a map as as your north star well actually i'm not you know i'm not lucky to read the bible i mean if we actually do you have a bible handy with you uh richard no i do not have a bible on me well let me refresh your memory if we look in exodus 21 15 uh it says whoever strikes his father or mother shall be put to death yes does that sound fantastic to you john richard dick uh, richard that does sound great to me yes it does so if i hit my mom yes I should be put to death. If that's what it says in the Bible, then yes. Yeah, but See, th you have to follow wait, wait, these. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, have, go ahead, your, sir. Your, I'm your, sorry. your mind is full of questions and, and, and a lot of confused, uh, confused thoughts, it appears. But if that, basically, yes, that is, if that is in the Bible, that is, that is how it is. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about the Bible. Let's talk about the Bible. Great. I, I would love to. I would love to talk about the Bible. Now, Jesus didn't write the Bible. No, Jesus did not write the Bible. No, he did not. Who wrote the Bible? His disciples wrote the Bible. Wrong. Paul, Luke, Peter, and the other guy. I can't remember his name. What was it? That, that is not correct. That is, that is incorrect information. So who's Paul, Luke, uh, Peter, and the other guy? I believe you may be referring to the musical John. group, Peter, John. Paul, and Mary. No, no, I'm referring to John, uh, Peter, Michael, and the other fourth guy. I can't remember all their names. Jean Vier. Richard, Richard, I'm being serious here. We got Mike, uh, Peter. Yes. Uh, the, the four guys, come on. I, 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 I don't. Okay. That is, that is, that, that I, I don't agree listen, with you. Listen, I, I don't listen. know what you we, we like have me John. to say. We have Luke. We have Peter. And we have uh, Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Yes. Let's take these four uh, guys. Did they write? Did they write their Bibles? Yes, they did. Now, who were they? They were Jesus' disciples. No, they were not. Darn. They never seen Jesus before in their lives. They they traveled around with Jesus. Wrong. They were ye hundreds of years after Jesus. Well, they, not according to the Bible, no. Well, according to the Bible, you know what? I have, I have another point to bring up. You know, points are just coming in my brain. It's just, wow, this is amazing. That's great. That's really great. Now, you say Jesus is God, right? Jesus is, yes. Well, how come Jesus in the Bible, when they called him good, he said, do not call me good. Nobody's good except God. Yes, that, that is, that, that, that's correct. So he very distinctively made a distinction between him and God, right or wrong? <laughs> yeah, he really, he did. He, you're, you're absolutely right, he did. 
Go ahead, caller. I don't think we lost the call. Good evening, caller. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was cut off earlier. I was debating Richard. Oh, is that right? I, were you cut off or what? Or I don't know. I, I, don't I know think exactly you were why. given plenty of time to speak, sir. I think perhaps he just wanted to move on to, to give someone else a chance. But I apologize. Go don't ahead. You see, I want answers, and you weren't giving me answers. You what understand? kind of let's, answers let's, would let's, you like? Let's, let's start with the first question. Okay? Can we start with the first question? Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? Yellow. Yellow. I, we're having a bit of difficulty. I, although I do think we've managed to, on our end, I think our mic is sounding much, much better tonight. Um, but we're having a bit of difficulty with our incoming calls. Let's try this again. Hello, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus Chat Line. How are you doing today? Good. Great. Did you have a question, caller? Um, yes. Um, what do you think about uh, the Muslims? Do, what do I think about the Muslims? Yes. Oh, I really do not think a whole lot, to be perfectly honest. Most of them are sinners, and most of them are troubled people. Hello, you're live on the air with uh, Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus Chat Line. How are you? Um, how are you doing today? Yeah, Richard, I'm doing fantastic. You, we had seemed to be disconnected last time. Uh, oh yes, we were having a discussion before. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yes, let, did you did you have another question? Well, you never answered any of my questions. Well, then let's 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 get to that. Let's go one by one, shall we? Okay, well, um, we'll try and have enough time for everybody, but I'll, I'll do my best to answer a few of your questions. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. My first question is, Jesus says in Mark 12, 29, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Please explain that verse for me. I, 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 it's, please explain it? Jesus is saying the Lord... Our God is one Lord. He's saying our God. That means Israel, the, the children. I do. The point I'm trying to make, Richard, well, you know what, let's bring a couple more verses so I can make my point a little bit more clear. Yeah, I think that would help. Uh... In John 20:17, Jesus says, "I ascend to my God and your God." That was John 20:16. Okay, 16. Fantastic. He's saying, "I ascend to my God and your God." This tells us that we and Jesus have a common God. Yes. In 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 John 8:28, Jesus said, "I do nothing of myself." Can't God do anything He wants? God can do, God can do anything He wants. Yes, He can. Well, how come Jesus in your own Bible differentiates between himself and God? Perhaps the Bible that you have been reading is, is, has a grammatical error. There's n <laughs> What's the grammatical error when Jesus says, Our Lord well, it, is it your Lord? It seems to me that you are implying that God or Jesus may uh, uh, speak about themselves in third person or have some sort of uh, a problem with differentiating uh, themselves from one another or, or I don't if I fully understand what you're trying to say well that's that's another point you just said maybe the Bible you have is diff has a grammatical error if it was from God there would only be one Bible well no perhaps errors. perhaps the Bible that you have purchased was uh, you know, uh, 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 one of the watered-down Bibles that are out there. And, um, and that is part of the reason that w we sell our own uh, Bible, the Richard Burnish Neon Bible, um, which is free well, of, these, of, of, of this, this, this confusion. It, it brings levity and clarity. Well, Richard, there is a, the newest book in town, okay? It's newer than the Bible. It's called the Holy Quran. You understand? Yes. This book is the last revelation from God. Okay? It has no mistakes. 
if you read it, you will know who Jesus really was. Okay, well, which is, thank which you. is a, a prophet of God. He wasn't God, nor the Son of God, nor the third of three, the one. No, it all makes sense. One God, prophets. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. that. That was a great piece of information. Well, I'm doing my best to screen the calls, but let me give you an example of what happens. I'll pick up a call and I'll say, Hi, this is Stephen. I am your screener. Um, momentarily, I will be turning your call over to Richard Burnish. First, I would just like to know what it is you'll be speaking about. And I'll get a line like, Well, sir, my parents are getting a divorce and I have, um, I'm very distraught. I'd like some answers. And I say, Okay. And I turn it over to Richard, and the next thing you know, they're asking him, you know, what have you? So I, I, please, I, underst sir, I understand that. I, I completely understand so, that. So what is I'm your solution then for me to screen such a call? You're right. You can't screen those because you don't know what the intentions are. Only God knows what the intentions are. Well, that's a very good you know? point. Uh, but just, you know, before I hang up, I have another point. Uh, I see the cross on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys wear the cross because Jesus was hung on the cross, right? Uh, yes. So if Jesus was uh, put to death in an electrical chair, would you wear an electrical chair around your neck? 